Hello everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, today I will be picking the first of many locks from Silverhead's Pass Along box. Um, this nice guy from Texas who put up a, a box of American locks and sent them off to Europe. Check out this channel and I will also link his video in the description. And today I just choose this lock here. It's a, I guess, a Schlage um, with the SC1 keyway. Here's the key, it's a five pin lock. Looks nicely. Yeah, so I will get it in vice and hopefully pick it. So I'm using a 1.3 millimeter tensioner, which is still a bit sloppy, but fine. And a medium hook in 0 0.6 millimeters. Starting from the front. I picked this once off camera already, so there I didn't struggle that much. I think it's only standard pins. Two and one, three, four, and the front is still good, so only five, hopefully. Yep, and pop this open. Okay, cool. So, yeah, let's try to get it. Uh, it has one of these typical bags here where you push down this detent and then you can turn it right. But let me put it down. So you just unscrew this cap and then in the end you have to be careful that it doesn't fly away, this pin. Okay, managed to do so. So I forgot, and I'm still focusing. And I still need a pin tray. Let's get this one. And this comes out and there should be a spring, yeah. Cool. So, ah. Does one need like a hollow follower for this? I'm not so sure about the gap here in the back. Well, I'm not so common with these locks, so I will use the shim. Hopefully my followers welcome this one. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, should be fine. Cool. Core holder. Oh, what is that? Some additional holes. We will see about that. Yeah, you see the, the depth. And let's have a look at the drivers. Mm -hmm. So with these, it's always a bit fiddly, I think, with which, was, which is front, which is back. And you want to put them back together. So luckily someone has drawn on here and I guess that's the front. Oh. This is a spool after all. Another spool. Okay. Yet another spool. Okay. I could not feel any spools while picking. 
and yet another spool but now I remember the fifth one was the last one I set right and yeah that's a standard so that prevented us from having a false set um, I guess the, the, the springs are all copper standard I won't get them out I think um, yeah have a look at the spools in here yeah they should have been all active even for the short longest key pin but yeah it's just the binding order that it's unfortunate let's have a look at the key pins Uh, you went in the wrong one. You belong there. Okay. Okay, they're all standard. That leaves still. Um, wait a moment. Let's have a look at the pins and then I can still think about the holes in there. These are the pins, so. Drivers 1 to 4 are spools, 5 is standard, and all the key pins are standard. Let's have another look at this core, it's really strange. Ah, I think I know what that could be. That could be these holes for uh, construction keys, where you have uh, another set of ball bearings, um, which disappear in, in these holes. They are thinner in, in diameter and can just drop in in these holes and they sit between the drivers and the, the key pins we're using now. So maybe there can be other keys when you insert these ball bearings and then once you use uh, the, this key we used now they would disappear in, in the holes once you turn it past the chambers where the ball bearings would be setting hope oh, my explanation makes sense i don't know <laughs> anyhow fun to pick lock sad that the spools didn't get into action but yeah just binding order okay thanks for watching see you in the next video bye